Hey, Steve here with another edition of Axis Tech Videos. Today we're going to explore creating bandwidth predictability through setting a constant bitrate. These days, we essentially put everything on a network. Phones, computers, cameras are just a few examples. And while network infrastructure has been growing to meet this added traffic, there are still some situations where you have to be mindful about bandwidth usage. By default, an Axis camera is configured for variable bitrate. This means the device will prioritize a defined video quality regardless of bandwidth variations. Depending on restrictions, this might be detrimental on a network. This is where you might use a constant bitrate. CBR is a configurable bandwidth level. Note that this only works while using the H.264 codec. With Motion JPEG, you can configure a maximum frame size. The name constant bitrate is a slight misnomer, as it's not exactly constant like the name suggests. Other vendors have truly constant CBR, which forces the camera to always stream a fixed amount of data. In low bandwidth situations, this means extra information is being sent. The Axis implementation actually behaves more like a threshold ceiling and does not generate any additional filler information. When activity increases above the preset threshold, limitations kick in to keep the bandwidth around the predetermined level. Be mindful the bitrate might bounce above, but the device will work to bring it back down. This programs bitrate predictability into our device. The question is, if the bitrate needs to be reduced, how does the device achieve this? Well, the answer would be through reducing the frame rate or increasing the compression levels. Both methods help reduce bitrate, but do so in a different way. CBR is able to choose a priority quality depending on requirements, leaving the other to be adjusted. If frame rate is a priority, then no frames will be dropped. Instead, only compression will be used. If image quality is a priority, then no compression will be applied, but frames will be dropped. If you stick with the default priority none, then both will be adjusted equally. Here we see examples of the three different settings. The constant bitrate has been set low to exaggerate the differences. Actual impact though will vary depending on your CBR level and scene activity. With that you have a better understanding of what constant bitrate is and does. Now I'd like to mention not to use it unless absolutely necessary. Sounds ridiculous, right? Well, this is because you generally want the best quality video when something happens, which is also when bandwidth is going to go up. The last thing you need is to lose important information if you didn't have to. So please consider the trade-offs before activating a constant bitrate. An easy workaround for this might be to configure different profiles for streaming. For example, you might configure CBR for the video crossing the network, and a second stream could be configured to record on an SD card using variable bitrate. These videos then would be available upon operator request. This has been another edition of Axis TV. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and let us know. I'm Steve and thanks for watching.